Men's basketball season opener tonight at the Furnace as Southeastern hosts Florida College. I'm Donnie Smith. We're glad you could join us. The Fire in their first contest of the year coming off of a 27-7 record a year ago which saw them advance all the way to the NAI Fab Four. Florida College, the opponent tonight, dressed in the red jerseys with the white numbers on the front and back. Coach Jim Ronke starting things off with Darian Anthony along with Jan Zorjan. Dennis Gravely and Malcolm Bell starting things off for the fire. Jordan Talley, Brandon Moore, Jordan McLeod, Andre Winston, and Dana Thomas. The fire in the white jerseys from left to right. The Falcons from right to left in the red jerseys. 20 minutes on the clock. We're ready to start the 2014-2015 men's basketball season as the 221s, Brandon Moore and Jamison McMichael jump at center court. Great atmosphere here at the Furnace to open up the season. Moore wins the opening tip off ahead to Jordan Talley. Talley moves it out on the right wing, flips it out to Andre Winston on the left wing. Dre ahead fake, now dribbles, flips back over to Talley. Back up top to Dre with 10 seconds gone in the first half. Winston flips it over to Brandon Moore on the left wing. Moore out to Winston on the left side. Dre trying to go off the dribble, gets a little bit of a bump on the play. Instead kicks it inside, trying to go to Dana Thomas. The ball deflects out long. Florida College back the other way in transition. Working the near side is Darian Anthony. Anthony flips up top to Malcolm Bell. Bell working the right wing. Out to the far side, Dennis Gravely. Gravely trying to drive against Winston. Spin move in the lane. Layup banks in. 19-19 remaining in the first half. Florida College takes an early 2-0 lead. Dre Winston coast to coast. Andre gets a bump from Malcolm Bell. 
And results in Bell's first, the team's first foul. 19-11 remaining in the half. Ball out of bounds to Southeastern. Inbounding is Brandon Moore. The junior from Lakeland. Tenor Rock High School graduate inbounds to Andre Winston. Winston back to Tally on the right side. The Lake City, Florida native. The senior trying to dribble, trying to back down his man. In the lane, running left-hander. No, rims out. Dana Thomas, the offensive rebound. He's clobbered on his way to the basket and is on his way to the free throw line looking for Southeastern's first points of the season. Darian Anthony, a junior from Jacksonville, is called for his first. The team's first foul. A minute, four seconds gone in the first half. Dana Thomas at the free throw line for Southeastern. Thomas last year averaged 8.6 points per game, five rebounds, also close to two assists per game, and 2.2 steals per game as he was in the top 10 in the NAI in steals. Thomas missed the front end. One more on the way. His right-handed shot finds its way home. The Fire have cut the deficit in half at 2-1. to one. They back out and play half-court defense as Malcolm Bell comes across the timeline. Long three in the near corner by Dennis Gravely. No, Andre Winston the rebound for the Fire. Portland State transfer across the timeline. Looks left, trying to drive. Lost the basketball. Dre back up with it. Spins to the basket. Layup. No, but he draws the foul. 18-40 remaining in the half. Andre Winston to the free throw line, looking to tie and take the lead. Dre, a 6-2 senior, averaged 9.6 points as a starter in 28 minutes a game at NCAA Division I Portland State. Winston takes a look at the first. The free throw off the right hand. A smooth-looking shot is nothing but net. He ties the game at 2 with 18.40 to go. One more for the senior from Tacoma, Washington. Free throw rattles out. Brandon Moore, the offensive rebound in the layup. The Fire have their first lead of the season. They lead Florida College 4-2. 18.30 remaining in the half. On the right ring is Dennis Gravely. Matched up against Jordan McLeod. Ball to the point now for Malcolm Bell. Bell against Thomas. Looks back to the left wing. And it's picked up by Dustin Anthony. His three, or lob inside, goes off the front of the rim. Put back no good as well by McMichael Jamison. And the Fire come away with the loose basketball. McLeod out to the right side to Dre. Winston, right corner three. Jordan Talley can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Dana Thomas. He's tied up underneath. And possession arrow belongs to Florida College. 18-04 remaining in the opening half of play. Southeastern with a 4-2 lead over the Falcons of Florida College. From right to left go the Falcons with Malcolm Bell running the point. Bell across the timeline where he's met by Dana Thomas. Dana keeping an eye on the basketball. McLeod handed in the deflection. Dennis Gravely back out to Bell. 20 on the shot clock, 17-48 game clock. McMichael Jamison handing off to Dennis Gravely. Gravely looking to pass inside it. Stolen away by Brandon Moore, who's fouled in the backcourt. Ill-advised reach by McMichael Jamison, the sophomore from Largo, Florida. Gives the basketball to the fire. Sideline out of bounds, leading by two. 17-39 remaining, first half. Brandon Moore to inbound to Andre Winston. Winston across the timeline, flips right side to Tally, who can't hang on. The ball goes to the Falcons. 17-34 first half, Southeastern 4, Florida College 2. Falcons down by 2 with the basketball. On the right side setting it up is Darian Anthony. Anthony looking right corner for Dennis Gravely. Gravely looking to float the ball back out to the right wing for Jan Zoran. Out on the near side now, it's Malcolm Bell. His pass finds its way over to Zoran. Zoran back up top for Gravely. Gravely pull up jumper at the free throw line. Good. 17-09 remaining in the half. 4-4 game. Ball on the right wing for Jordan Talley of Southeastern. Up top, Brandon Moore for three. No. Rebound pulled down by Florida College's McMichael Jamison. Jamison to the near side for Malcolm Bell, who squeaks across the timeline. Three-point bomb from the near corner. Good. Darian Anthony, the freshman from Jacksonville, gives Florida College a 7-4 lead. Fire trying to answer. Winston out to the far side for Brandon Moore. Now Jordan Talley from the left wing. His pass deflected and is stolen away 
by Florida College's number 11, Darian Anthony. And a foul whistled against the fire. Foul goes against Dana Thomas, number three. His first, team first. 16-34 remaining in the opening half of play as both these teams are kicking off their 2014 seasons. Inbound pass triggered by Anthony Allen, sophomore from Eustis. Malcolm Bell sets the point, calling for a screen, elects not to use it. Now goes to Zoran. He turns, floats it inside. Nice put back and no good on the layup by Anthony Allen. Ball comes down to the fire via the defensive rebound. Dana Thomas kicks right corner. Brandon Moore, nice head fake. 18-footer on the way, got it to go. Brandon Moore makes it a one-point game. 7-6 Florida College, they have the basketball. 16.05 to go in the first half. Gravely hands off to Malcolm Bell. Back to Dennis Gravely, looking down low for Zoran. Zoran, right-handed hook shot, no. Rebound out of bounds to Florida College. Maybe not. Referees will converse. Southeastern basketball. 15-56 remaining in the first half. Jim Romke wants to know how that was overturned by a guy that was anywhere near the play. 15-56 in the half. Bringing the ball up for Southeastern is Andre Winston. He hands off to Dana Thomas. 15 and three quarters to go. Ball out to the left side for Jordan Talley. Up top for Thomas. Dana Spinorama move. Gets to the free throw line. Backs out. Kicks left side for Jordan Talley. Talley cross court to DeDre with 15 to shoot. Up top, Thomas, head fake, drives, now back out. Winston for three, can't get it to go. Rebound, Jordan Talley on the offensive glass. He's tied up, forces up the shot, no. Rebound again, Brandon Moore tips it in. 8-7 Southeastern, 15-19 remaining in the opening 20. Setting up the play now for Florida College is Darian Anthony. Anthony looks inside for Zora on the ball, knocked away by Brandon Moore. Tally to the right side for Jordan McLeod. McLeod to the rack. His layup ricochets off the backboard. And a foul coming up against Florida College. Believe they got Darian Anthony, number 11, the guilty party. 15.05 remaining in the half. That's his second. Fifth against the team already. Jordan McLeod to the free throw line for the fire. His first. Rims hard, no. Joe Little, number 23, into the contest for Southeastern, replacing Brandon Moore. McLeod, a 6'7 senior transfer from NCAA Division II, Glenville State, where he averaged 6.7 points and 4.1 rebounds per game. One more coming the way of McLeod. Jordan eyes, flies, converts. 9-7 Southeastern leads, 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Florida College's Malcolm Bell looks to the near side for Dennis Gravely. Gravely floats it inside for Jan Zoran. To the point now for, du for Dun Dustin Dun Anthony. Shot no good, rebound pulled down by Jordan McLeod. Out to the left side, trying to drive is Tally, And a block whistled. Tally was way out of control, got away with one. Foul whistle against Malcolm Bell, a freshman from Chipley, Florida. The ball is out of bounds to Southeastern with 14.42 remaining in the first half. The fire with a two-point advantage. Dana Thomas to inbound, but first a substitution by Florida College. Malcolm Bell out. And coming into the contest is number 21, McMichael Jamison, returning to the lineup. Timeout on the floor, 14.42 remaining in the first half. And Southeastern with a 9-7 advantage. Florida College, 3 of 8 from the field, as is Southeastern. The fire, 0 for 3 from beyond the arc. Florida College has hit one of their two three-point attempts. The fire, a little bit of a rough start from the free throw line as well, hitting 3 of 6, but are all over the glass with 9 total rebounds compared to just 2 for Florida College. Two turnovers by Florida College. The Fire with four. But the Falcons already with five team fouls in the first five minutes and 18 seconds of the season. Southeastern nine, Florida College seven as we've reached the first media timeout of the first half. 
Well, taking a look ahead for Southeastern as they take on Florida College today. Next up, they'll be on the road at Nova Southeastern on November the 4th before traveling to College of Coastal Georgia on the 15th. They return the favor to Florida College on the 17th of November. And then the next day, an exhibition at the University of Tampa. A really unique opportunity coming up November 21st and 22nd when they go to the Valdosta State University Tournament. They'll take on Armstrong State and Valdosta State, two very good Division II programs during the tournament run. The South Coast Fire, a semi-pro team, will be the Silent Night opponent on December the 3rd. Conference play opens up December 6th at St. Thomas before hosting Warner on the 13th. They close out the year with a trip to Florida National and then the first ever SEU Classic as Southwest Assemblies of God and Evangel come to the furnace. 14-42 first half, Southeastern 9, Florida College 7. Dre Winston out to the left side, Dana Thomas. Back to Dre at the right elbow. Dre to the rack, his layup doesn't go, and a two-handed flush by Jordan McLeod gives the Fire an 11-7 advantage. That gets the fans back into it as the Fire have a four-point advantage. On the near side is Dennis Gravely working back to the point to Quade Binder. Falcons now give way to Dustin Dunham. Driving the right side, they step out of bounds as Anthony Allen was trying to answer with a dunk of his own, but he ran out of real estate on the baseline. 14-13 remaining first half, Southeastern with the basketball. Deshaun Wilcox checks in for the fire, replacing Jordan Talley. For the fire with three legit ball handlers on the floor, along with Joe Little and Jordan McLeod. Little fouled in the backcourt by number 55, Dennis Gravely. That's already number six against the Falcons. We haven't even played six minutes. Next foul against Florida College results in free throws. Rather, that's seven. One and one now for Southeastern. So the foul trouble is already mounted for a Jim Ronke squad. And Joe Little toes the free throw line for the fire. Little played in 19 games last year. He scored 19 points. A 6'6 junior from West Orange, Michigan. Missed the front end of the 1-1. One one. Defensive rebound pulled down by McMichael Jamison, number 21. Here's Quade Bender across the midcourt line. Bender with a crossover, gets to the top of the arc. Ball to the near side, one-handed flush by Jamison. 11-9 in favor of the Fire. From the right wing, it's Dana Thomas. Back out to Andre Winston. Dre trying to drive. Cut off. Kicks left side for Deshaun Wilcox. Wilcox back up to the top of the key to Winston. Winston now handing off to Jordan McLeod, who finds Dre. Dre from 25. Nothing but net. 14-9 Southeastern. Nice looking shot from Winston. As he gives the Fire a five-point advantage. And now a whistle at the other end of the court. Is against Southeastern. Thomas called for the foul. His second. Team second. Andre Winston with four points in the game. Brandon Moore leading the team with six. He's on the bench right now catching a break. First free throw by McMichael Jamison is good. 14-10 in favor of the Fire. One more free throw coming up for the sophomore from Largo, McMichael Jamison. Jordan Talley back in for the Fire, replacing Dana Thomas. Free throw is short. Joe Little the rebound. 13-20 to go. Jordan McLeod across the timeline. Pass inside. Winston, an easy right-handed layup. 16-10 Fire with 13-10 remaining in the half. Across the timeline goes Dustin Dunham. Dunham working one-on-one -on -one against Deshaun Wilcox. Coach Barsh urging his team to body up on the defense. They've got him well out. Should have been a five-second call. Driving is Jamison. He lays it in. 16-12 Southeastern. Winston trying to dribble out of the double team. Cross-court pass to Deshaun Wilcox. Wilcox fires it ahead to McLeod, and Jordan walks. 12.46 remaining in the first half. Brandon Moore back onto the deck for the fire. And he replaces Jordan McLeod. Inbounding for Florida College is Dennis Gravely, number 55. But first, Quade Bender replaces Malcolm Bell. 
or rather the other way around. Bell replaces Binder. 12 and three quarters left in the half. Malcolm Bell across the timeline. Works one-on-one -on -one against Deshaun Wilcox. Ball to the left wing for Dustin Dunham. Dunham working against Winston. Starts the dribble, now kicks back out to the top of the key to McMichael Jamison. Jamison, a little give and go from Gravely. Jamison to the rack, and a foul coming up against the fire. Foul goes against Joe Little, number 23. His first, team's third. McMichael Jamison with free throws coming his way. Knocks down the first. Sixteen thirteen. Second free throw on the way. Good. Sixteen fourteen. From left to right go the fire. They lead by two. Wilcox gets a bump. Cross court to Dre Winston. Andre trying to drive, draws contact, loose basketball picked up by Florida College. Handing off on the near side, it's Malcolm Bell. Bell looking to the left side, and a flip over the corner by McMichael. Jamison is picked off by Dre Winston. Three on three break. Dre driving his right-handed layup, no. Rebound pick, or rather a foul coming up against Florida College. Foul goes against Malcolm Bell, number one. Winston to the free throw line. That's already three against Malcolm Bell. That's the team eighth. Winston to the free throw line. Dre's first is good. 17-14 fire. 12-04 remaining in the half. Dre with seven in the game. Ties McMichael Jamison is the game's leading scorer. Winston... Missed the second one. Offensive rebound, Brandon Moore. His layup is good. 19-14 fire. Brandon Moore with eight in the contest. At the top of the key now is Dustin Dunham. Little give and go from Anthony Allen. Now they work the weave at the top of the key, handing off to Malcolm Bell. 11 and three quarters to go. Ball out on the right wing now for Dunham. Dustin looking. Looking, guarded closely by Winston. Pass goes inside for Anthony Allen. Joe Little all over him. They hand it back off now to Dunham with 10 on the shot clock. Layup doesn't go. And a follows whistle against Joe Little. Second against Joe. Fourth against the team. 11.35 remaining first half. Dustin Dunham heads to the free throw line for two. Dunham a six-foot sophomore from Eustis, Florida. Toes the line. And missed the front end. 19-14 fire. Substitution for the Falcons brings in Kevin Wilson, a freshman from Tampa, to replace Malcolm Bell. One more coming up for Dunham. His free throw is good. His first point of the game. Makes it a four-point game. 19-15 Southeastern. 11.33 to go. Driving now is Deshaun Wilcox. Wilcox strikes it all the way to the rim. Layup no. Put back no. Rebound Jordan Talley on the offensive glass. Pivots. Goes back up again. Layup doesn't go. Ball just will not go in the net. And the ball goes out of bounds. Fire maintain possession. Maybe not. They're going to get together and talk about it again. 11-17 to go. Now they rightly change the call to Florida College ball. Caleb Konezny checks into the game for the fire. He replaces Wilcox with 11-17 remaining in the half. Konezny last year played in 26 games for the Fire. A three-point shooting specialist out of Cedar Falls, Iowa. Ball out to the far side for Dennis Gravely of Florida College. Gravely trying to drive Joe a little pull-up 13-footer. Doesn't go. And the rebound controlled by Andre Winston of the Fire. 11 minutes to play. Winston working the left side. Running one-hander is an offensive foul. 10.58 remaining in the half. Fire fans thought it was going to be an and one. No. First foul against Winston. Ball goes out of bounds to Florida College. Falcons from right to left. Setting it up is Dustin Dunham. 
10.50 to play in the half. Going from the high set. Kicks it out to the right side for Dennis Gravely. Gravely looking right. Tries to pass down low. Nice move by Allen who gets to the rim. His layup doesn't go. His putback is successful with 10.40 remaining in the half. 19-17 Southeastern with the lead and the basketball. Somebody lost tally. His right wing three is nothing but net. The last thing you want to do is leave a 41% three-point shooter all by himself beyond the arc. And immediately, Jim Romke, a 30-second timeout to remind his team, you got to keep someone on number five. 10-28 remaining first half. Southeastern with a 22-17 advantage over Florida College. Jordan Talley's first points of the season. But right now, it's Brandon Moore who's leading the way for the fire with eight points, four of five from the field. And already with three rebounds, he and Jordan McLeod with three apiece for Southeastern. Leading the way for Florida College, McMichael Jamison with seven points. He has three rebounds to lead the squad as well. He has three of the team's five rebounds. Coming out of the 30-second timeout with 10.28 remaining in the first half. The Falcons have the ball down 22-17. Inbound pass comes in to Dustin Dunham, number 12. Dunham brings the ball across the midcourt line. Thumbs down the play as they look to the near side for Dennis Gravely. Gravely one-on-one against Moore. Comes off the screen. Floats it back to the near side for Jan Zoran. Zoran back to the near wing for Gravely. 10-10 remaining. Zoran trying to work against McLeod. Turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound yanked down by Southeastern's Andre Winston. Winston to the top of the key. Cuts right. Little sucker punch by Dennis Gravely. Draws the ball loose. It rolls out of bounds and stays with the fire. Substitution for Florida College sends Dennis Gravely to the bench. Brings back McMichael Jamison. Brandon Moore to inbound. Brandon Moore is set to inbound. Floats it into the top of the key to Jordan McLeod. McLeod looking right side to Andre Winston. Winston kicks out left side to Konezny. Catch and shoot three. Tally got it again. Jordan Tally makes it a 25-17 Southeastern lead with nine and three quarters left in the half. Ball down low for Zoran. Jan kicks it out back right side for the shot good by Dunham. 25-19. Back the other way. Layup doesn't go. Winston heads to the free throw line. Andre Winston is going to shoot a lot of free throws this season for Southeastern. Foul goes against Zoran. Timeout on the floor, 9.32 remaining in the first half. And Southeastern owns a 25-19 lead over Florida College. Southeastern with a 25-19 advantage over Florida College with 9.32 remaining in the first half of play. Andre Winston to the free throw line for two. His first is good. That gives him eight points. 
26-19 fire. Southeastern 9 of 17 from the field, 53%. Florida College 7 of 16, 43%. Free throw is good by Dre, 27-19 lead. Florida College with the basketball, kicks to the near side, sets it up for McMichael Jamison. Jamison now looks to Dustin Dunham, now for Jan Zoran. Back to the near side, three ball, Dunham, no. Offensive rebound and a dunk put back by Anthony Allen. 27-21, fire with the lead and the ball. Tally from the right wing, draws an instant double team. Now Andre Winston at the point. Winston left side, Brandon Moore for three, doesn't get it to go. It's over the backboard, out of bounds. No, it kept alive by Florida College. Long pass ahead in transition. Layup is good by Kevin Wilson. 27-23. Southeastern with the lead and the ball. McLeod at the top of the key. Finds Winston. Left wing three ball by Dre. No. Rebound pulled down by McMichael Jamison. Hands it off to Dustin Dunham. Long pass in transition. Looking for Wilson. Head fake. He's wide open. Layup good. Anthony Allen rather on the basket. 27-25. All of a sudden. It's a two-point game with eight and a half remaining in the first half. The Florida College bench up on their feet trying to urge their team on for a big stop. Andre Winston flips left side for Jordan Talley. Dre and Jordan play catch on the perimeter as now Konezny gets involved. Cross courts it to Talley. Now back up top to Winston. Talley from 25. Left it short. Chased down to the rebound. Knocked it out of bounds to Florida College. 8-11 to go. Dana Thomas back onto the floor for the fire as he replaces Caleb Konezny. Thomas, a fifth-year senior, prepped at Branson High School in Missouri, now calls Houston, Texas home. Eight minutes to play. Florida College down by two, a chance to tie or take the lead. Dunham running thumbs down. Kicks it out to the far side for McMichael Jamison. Back to Dunham. Dribbles with the left hand. Now works back over to the right side. Has a screen, elects not to use it. Jan Zoran from the left side with 10 to shoot. Hands back off to the top of the key to Dunham. Dunham off the screen with 5, looking near side. Now flips it inside, deflecting it out of bounds as McLeod with 3 to shoot. Kevin Wilson to inbound. 3 seconds to get the shot off. Wilson looks near side to Jamison. Jamison to the rack with one shot clock violation, Florida College. The ball goes to Southeastern with 7.35 remaining in the first half. Fire protecting a two-point lead over Florida College. Brandon Moore inbounds to Dana Thomas, who's joined on the floor by Jordan McLeod, Jordan Talley, and Andre Winston. Across the timeline goes Dana Thomas. Out to the left side for Talley, back up top for Thomas. Dana working from the point, back over to Tally on the left wing. Jordan backs out, back up to Dana. Seven and a quarter left in the first half. Thomas back to Tally, looking far corner for Brandon Moore. Moore to the rack, his layup doesn't go. Fighting for the rebound, and it comes down to McMichael Jamison of Florida College. Jamison transition, left-handed layup, no. Jordan McLeod the rebound, lost it back to Jamison, who flushes it home with both hands. 27-27 with 6.57 remaining in the first half. The Florida College faithful from Temple Terrace are up on their feet across the way. Here's Winston from the right wing, up top for McLeod. Jordan trying to drive, jump stop. Dishes to a wide open Brandon Moore who missed the bunny. Layup out of bounds to Southeastern. Into the game for Southeastern. Xavier Burrow, a freshman from Orlando, Florida, replacing Jordan Talley. Timeout, Florida College, 6.40 remaining in the first half. And we are in a 27-27 tie between Southeastern and Florida College. But Florida College starting to heat up a little bit from the field, 10 of 20. And they've also knocked down one of three three-pointers. Four of six of the charity stripe, the fire, are going to have to make a living at the free throw line. They got Florida College into the bonus early. The next foul by the Falcons results in double bonus. Southeastern right now, 6 of 11 at the free throw line, 54.6%. Coach R.J. Barsh would like to see that number a little bit closer to 70. 27-27, leading scorer right now for the Fire is Andre Winston with 9. Leading scorer for Florida College, McMichael Jamison with 9. 
Out on the floor for the fire, Dana Thomas, Jordan McLeod, Xavier Burrow, Dre Winston, and Brandon Moore. Countering for Florida College is Kevin Wilson, Dustin Dunham, Jan Zoran, Anthony Allen, and Dennis Gravely. 6.40 to go. Inbounding is Moore. Brandon kicks it to the top of the key for McLeod. Jordan with 6.37 to go. Dre Winston dishes right side for Dana Thomas. McLeod, right wing, 18-footer, doesn't go. Rebound, Jan Zoran with 6.28 to go for Florida College. Handoff in the backcourt for Dustin Dunham. Dunham looking near side for Gravely. Gravely looking in the lane for Zoran. Left-handed layup, good. The Falcons regain the lead at 29-27. 6-12 to go. Winston looking right side. Brandon Moore in open three. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound tipped out by Dana Thomas. And Brandon Moore controls. Brandon back to Dana. Up to the point for Andre Winston. Winston drives the lane. Nice dish down low to B. His left-handed layup scores. Just under six minutes to play. And it's a 29-29 tie in front of a packed crowd here at the Furnace. Home opener for Southeastern. Ball at the top of the key for Dustin Dunham. Guarded closely by Andre Winston. Gives it up now for Jan Zoran. Plenty of room to work. Ball kicked to the near side. Three ball. Dunham. Good. Gives Florida College a 32-29 advantage with five and a half to play. Here's Winston. Gets some room to work. Flips it out left side for Dana Thomas. Thomas goes cross court to Xavier Burrow. X cross courts it back to Thomas. Dana backs out with 5.20 to go. Burrow, back to Dana, out to the left side. McLeod for three, left it short. Offensive rebound, Brandon Moore. Put back, no. The two fire players are fighting for it. And a travel is called. 5-10 remaining. Both thought it was a jump ball. Neither realized who they were trying to get it away from. Southeastern trails by three. Florida College gets the basketball with 5-10 to go. From right to left go. The Falcons bringing the ball up is Dustin Dunham, number 12. Dunham across the timeline, met by Dana Thomas. Five minutes remaining in the first half. Dunham working the right side of the floor. Thomas giving it to him. Ball goes over to Kevin Wilson on the wing. Ball back up. Comes to the near side as they kick it to Dennis Gravely. Gravely cross courts it to Dunham. Dunham running one-hander, knocked away by McLeod. Loose basketball scooped up by Marcus Hain, and he walked. No, a foul against the fire. The officials conferring with 4.41 remaining in the half. They'll bring the third official in. And everyone will talk about what they just saw. Florida College leads Southeastern. 4.41 remaining in the home opener. Both head coaches being summoned to the scorer's table. So the head referee talking things over with R.J. Barsh and Jim Romke. Both coaches nod their head. Joe Little replaces Brandon Moore. And McMichael Jamison replaces Kevin Wilson in the Florida College lineup. Absolutely no idea what was just discussed, but Florida College has the basketball. They quickly inbound it to the far side for Jan Zoran. Handed the ball off. Jarred loose. Back to the point now for Jamison. McMichael handing off with eight to shoot. Basketball now finds Dunham with four to shoot. Pull-up jumper from the elbow by Hain is off the mark. Rebound Dana Thomas. 425 remaining in the first half. Dana to Dre on the left side. Andre drives. Winston fouled no call. McLeod the rebound. Flips it out to Joe Little on the left wing. Little pull up 13 footer. No. Rebound pulled down by Jan Zor on a Florida College with 4-10 remaining in the first half of play. Setting up the play to the right side. It's McMichael Jamison. Fires the three. No. 
Rebound tipped out of bounds and belongs to Southeastern. Just under four minutes remaining in the first half. Southeastern trailing by three, 32-29. Bringing the ball up for the fire is senior Andre Winston. Portland straight transfer goes back to the right side for Dana Thomas. Thomas looking right baseline. McLeod leans in, layup, no. McLeod tips out the rebound. Burrow, left wing three, no. Rebound goes out of bounds and belongs to Florida College. The Fire have gone ice cold in this first half of play. 3.37 remaining in the half. And the Fire at one point up over 50% from the field have now fallen 10 of 26, 38%. And they're just 3 of 11 from beyond the arc. Free turdy tree to go. Bringing the ball up for the Falcons is Dustin Dunham. He's met by Xavier Burrow. Working the right side of the floor. Ball goes over to McMichael Jamison. Jamison now handing off to Jan Zoran. Zoran trying to back down McLeod. Ball to the point now. Firing is Dunham. His three is off the mark. Jordan McLeod watches the basketball go to Tim Mitchell on the bench. And with 3.12 to go in the first half, basketball to the fire. They trail by three. Bringing the ball up for the fire from left to right is Andre Winston. Senior working right down the center of the floor. Running one-hander is good and one. 3 one remaining in the half. Andre Winston with a free throw can tie this contest. Again, Dre Winston is going to shoot a lot of free throws this season. They're going to need him to shoot right around that 70% mark for the fire to be successful this season. Dre converts the three-point play, and this game is tied 32 apiece. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Back and forth contest between Southeastern and Florida College. Driving from the right side, running one-hander by Dunham, doesn't go. Rebound Joe Little for the fire. One-handed bounce pass ahead to Winston. Andre across the timeline, finds Jordan McLeod. McLeod lost the handle on the basketball, and it's taken away by Marcus Hain of Florida College. Long pass. Great job by Xavier Burrow to break it up. It went off the referee and stayed in bounds for an extra dribble, but eventually rolled out of bounds to the Falcons with 2.35 to play in the half. Jordan Talley back in for Southeastern, replacing Dana Thomas. Also, Marcus Hain heads to the bench. He's replaced by Anthony Allen, number four in the Florida College lineup. 2.35 left in the opening 20. Southeastern 32, Florida College 32. Dunham flips it right side. Three ball by Gravely, no. Offensive rebound, McMichael Jamison. His reverse layup finds its way home with 2.24 to go in the half. 34-32, Florida College. Southeastern with the ball. Here's Jordan McLeod flipping it inside to Joe Little, who had it knocked away from him on the way up, and the ball finds its way into the hands of Anthony Allen. Falcons in transition with Dustin Dunham. Dunham on the right side to Zoran. Jan kicks it back out top of the key for Dunham. Looking right baseline. They float the ball inside. Allen's reverse layup doesn't go. But he heads to the free throw line for two with just under two minutes remaining in the opening half of play. Foul goes against Xavier Burrow. His first, team sixth. 1.56 1.56 to go at the free throw line. Anthony Allen, he's shooting two. First free throw off the right hand is good. 35-32. Allen with seven points in the game. Brandon Moore replaces Joe Little in the fire lineup. Packed house here at the Furnace. Second free throw by Allen is good again. Florida College has opened up a two-possession advantage over Southeastern with 1.54 remaining in the pier in the half. Jumper from the left side by Andre Winston is good for two. 36-34, Winston with 14 in the first half. Setting up the offense is Dustin Dunham. Works to the right side to McMichael Jamison. Jamison from the right wing trying to drive against Talley. Jamison hands off to Dunham. His running one-hander in the lane is good. Wave it off. Offensive foul. 
Jordan McLeod jumped into the lane, got his feet set and took the charge. And with 90 seconds left in the half, the Fire have the basketball down by two. Heads up play by Jordan McLeod to stop the drive. And now the Southeastern fans getting behind the fire, trying to get them back into the lead with 122 remaining in the first half. Brandon Moore, right corner, trying to drive, kicks it out left side. Tally knifes in. His left-handed layup is good. 36, 36, 73 seconds to go, and a block whistled against Xavier Burrow. One and one for Florida College. X picks up his second, team seventh. To the free throw line goes McMichael Jamison. Jamison toes the line. Right handed shot is short. Offensive rebound by Anthony Allen. Backs out in the right corner. Ill-advised pass jarred loose by Burrow. Now McLeod in on the play. Loose ball scooped up by Dre Winston, and he's fouled by two different red jerseys. Two free throws coming up for Andre Winston. Great defensive play that time for the fire. Jamison guilty of the foul. That's his second. Team's 12th. Winston at the free throw line. He's got 14 points. And he is 5 of 7 at the charity stripe today. The Portland State transfer knocks down the first. Southeastern back on top, 37 36. 102 remaining in the first half. Make sure you stick around at halftime. Women's basketball coach Jody Martinez will join us. Winston second doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Dustin Dunham of Florida College. Dunham in the backcourt across the timeline, working one-on-one -on -one against Winston with 55 seconds remaining in the first half. A very entertaining 19 minutes and 10 seconds of basketball. Dish inside, cutting the basket is Allen. It's ripped away by Burrow to a wide-open Winston. Look out below, right-handed flush. Dre Winston gives the fire a 39-36 lead. Back the other way come the Falcons. Layup, no. Putback is rimmed hard off the back of the iron by McMichael Jamison. In transition, Tally's layup doesn't go. Xavier Burrow, the offensive board with 25. The fire will back it out, and R.J. Barsh calling for the final shot of the half. 39-36 Southeastern, 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Florida College trying to keep pace with Southeastern. Winston with nine, kicks out to the right corner. Moore for three, no. Rebound pulled down by Anthony Allen with three seconds. Racing to the basket. The layup is no. The put back at the horn is good. McMichael Jamison finishes off the layup by Dennis Gravely. And it's a one-point game at the intermission. Southeastern 39. Florida College 38 through 20 minutes of basketball. We'll step aside for a brief timeout. We'll come back with our halftime show with the fire up by one over Florida College.
at halftime. Southeastern holds a 39-38 lead over Florida College. Women's basketball coach Jody Martinez joining us at the intermission. His team a 94-52 win over Florida College in the first game of the day. Jody, congratulations on your first win at Southeastern University. Thanks, thanks Donnie. It's been uh, it was an exciting atmosphere, homecoming weekend. Second half got some crowd in here because the men's game followed us. and uh, I was just real, real excited to get the first one under out of the way. A new system, a new way of doing things for the women's basketball team. Talk about how it's been uh, teaching your system to these 11 girls. Well, it's been, uh, as I tell people, like a thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle, and I'm only on piece 40. It's we got a ways to go. Yeah. We got enough stuff in right now to be competitive for the next couple weeks. We told the girls after the game that on Monday we're going to be start teaching again. I have to put the full court press in yet. Yeah. Uh, tonight we didn't need to use any of that stuff. We just stayed, we stayed straight up man to man. And of course we were able to hit the three. They, you know, they were giving up the three instead of the lane. And we'll keep doing that all night. I think we shot over 50 threes tonight. Yeah, you shot 51. You hit 22 of them. So certainly that's a pretty good start, uh, especially when that's a big part of your offense is hitting the three. It, it is. And I, and I remember uh, the stat sheet after the game, two of our main shooters missed 14 of them. Yeah. And, you know, I can imagine if they just hit a couple just to get their confidence going. But, you know, Alyssa Ramos hit nine threes, and she missed her last three attempts. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the records are here, but – with her, with her in the lineup, uh, things are getting shattered probably. Yeah, 29 points for her in the contest, a career high in the first game of the season. That's not a bad start. Yeah, and, and considering she only played 23 minutes. Yeah. And, you know, I tried to balance the time as much as I could. Uh, I thought it was pretty good on the rotation. Uh, the, like I said, the girls' effort was wonderful. The girls, they, 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 they're, they're excited about change. Mm -hmm. They like the up-tempo. Uh, you know, as I, you know, I think about the defense, i got to give a shout-out to my father-in-law who, you know, who taught me some of the plays on – our continuity offense, which we'll run in our next game. But I know they're listening to you right now, Donnie. Jim and Linda, we, I love you. Family misses you. See you at Thanksgiving. But, uh, Donnie, they said that you did a great job. And I know the listeners out there, if they, if they respect and understand how hard it is to announce a game live, you're the best at it. There's no question. Thanks, Coach. As you look back at the girls, any other things stand out? I think you rebounded the basketball pretty well coming away with a total of 49 rebounds compared to 36. Boxed out pretty well, especially in that first half. Right, and, and it really started. I mean, we won the tip, and Kristen Scholl did a great job. She had two offensive rebounds right away that led to our first points. Right. And, you know, you know, Bailey had a good stroke going. That she had that one huge spurt. She ended up with 17. But Tierra Young, yeah, three assists, no turnovers, career high, 15 points. I mean, I think a lot of these girls are just playing with confidence right now because it's different. And uh, you know, I give credit to the practice squad. We have a guys team here that we're practicing against. They are really helping us because of the athleticism. Uh, we saw a very good, legit D1 player tonight. <laughs> I mean, she was it, yes. but she was fun to watch. Give us an idea on what the transition has been like for you. You spent 16 years at Bethel College. You take over here at Southeastern. Has it been an easy transition? Has it been tough at times? What's it been like? I tell you, the tough part is missing all my family and friends. Uh, uh, Bethel family, uh, the, my staff. Uh, I mean, I miss Chris and Natalie. It, it was weird, you know, doing the scrimmage last week, and, and I'm doing everything where <laughs> I had learned to, you know, have trust and delegate to Chris and Natalie. Rebecca is a great assistant coach. She is going to be good. But right now, she's trying to learn everything. And I even said, hey, you want to recommend a play? I mean, we're up 30, 40. She still wouldn't recommend anything. <laughs> so, you know, that's the learning curve. Uh, the transition in terms of duties, I love just being a coach. I absolutely love it. My day goes by so fast. It's just happiness. Um, I mean, I love I love the people, the staff here. The, you know, the school is big. It's mm -hmm. double the size of Bethel. But the spiritual vibrancy is about equal in terms of the importance. And a uh, great, great athletic director. You know, my previous athletic director, he was a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was the women's basketball coach, yeah, wasn't it? I heard, I heard he was, you know, taking all the funds for women's basketball. Over there. <laughs> I don't know. But Drew Watson, I, just, I can't thank him. Uh, Dr. Ingo, Chris Owen, enough to give me uh, the confidence to come here at Southeastern, a school that is growing leaps and bounds. As you know, Donnie, mm -hmm. this is your second year adding football, and they're looking at adding more sports in the future. I don't know where they're going to put people because we're so <laughs> landlocked. We're just going to have to be sitting on top of each other because there's no parking as it is. Yeah, women's basketball coming up with a 94-52 win over Florida College. We're at halftime of the men's game. 
with Southeastern, a one-point lead over Florida College, 39-38. It's been a pretty entertaining first 20 minutes, huh, Coach? You know, great crowd, mm -hmm. great crowd. Uh, you know, they got my man, your your man too, Timothy Mitchell sitting out. I, yeah, I, I, that's ooh, that's the big piece of their offense, and and he's just an intimidating factor. But you know, they get him second semester. Uh, you got Taylor sitting on the bench right now, the shooter. Uh, yeah. Then you got another guy, you know, Sway, he can jump yeah. out of this gym, and he's not even playing. So you got a lot of key players not playing, Jake, the shooter. But I think these guys have stepped up. Andre's going to be very good in this conference. Um, you know, the timing of passes to the shooters need to be a little quicker. I don't think we're looking to hit the shooters enough. Uh, but when, when uh, Florida went to that zone, it slowed us down. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll, it was like 29, 25 with four minutes to go, and all of a sudden it's 39, 38. So they're explosive, both teams. It's a dunk fest. I feel like I'm yeah. in New York City. I don't know. <laughs> As you mentioned, the cloud kind of trickled in towards the end of your contest. Got to see the scoreboard. Hopefully that generates some more crowd support for you guys, right? Yes, and even if it is second half, I understand the doubleheader format down here. We're playing at 5 o'clock, 5.30. we got people not even off work yet. Yeah. And, you know, as long as we continue to have the support, I think they're going to be so fun to watch. I, I got those kind of comments after the game today. Uh, it'll be, it's going to be a great season, but everyone's got to be patient with me because I'm teaching something to 11 girls. Mentally, they're freshmen. Right. But I think... But the bonus thing is they got game experience. Jody Martinez, the women's basketball head coach, 1-0 during his career at Southeastern. Picked up career win number 385 today. Coach, congratulations. Thanks, Donnie. Appreciate you. We're back with the second half right after this. Southeastern, a 39-38 leader over Florida College after 20 minutes.
We're getting ready to start the second half of play. Southeastern, a 39-38 leader over Florida College as we begin the second 20 minutes of action. Southeastern goes 38% from the field, 23% from beyond the arc, and 57% at the free throw line. Meanwhile, Florida College, 44% from the field, 28% from three, 67% at the line. Nine turnovers by Florida College, 11 by Southeastern. The fire out-rebounded Florida College by seven, 27 to 20. The Falcons with eight on the offensive glass, 12 on the defensive. 14 offensive rebounds for Southeastern, 13 defensive rebounds for the fire. One block, six steals for the fire. No block, six steals for Florida College. Leading scorer for the fire, Andre Winston with 17. Brandon Moore with 10. Leading the way for the Falcons, McMichael Jamison with 13. And Anthony Allen with 8. Fire dress in the white jerseys from right to left. Florida College in the red jerseys from left to right. 20 minutes on the clock. The Fire lead by 1 with 20 minutes remaining in the contest. Brandon Moore inbounds to Dana Thomas, who's joined on the floor by Jordan McLeod, Andre Winston, and Jordan Talley. Ball out to the right wing for Winston. Up top, Talley. Left wing three-pointer. Off the mark, no. Rebound pulled down by Dennis Gravely of Florida College. He's joined on the floor by McMichael Jamison, Jan Zoran, Malcolm Bell, and Darian Anthony. Bell all by himself for three and buries it. Nobody within a mile of him, and he makes it a 41-39 advantage for the Falcons. Tally on the left wing gives way to Jordan McLeod up top for Dana Thomas. Dana backs out on the left wing, fires up top. 25-footer Andre Winston around the rim, no. Rebound pulled down by Darian Anthony of the Falcons. Florida College found themselves in foul trouble early on in the first half. They had 12 fouls as a team in the first 20 minutes of play. Nine of those in the first nine minutes. 19 minutes remaining, ball to the right corner for Darian Anthony. Anthony at the point, head fake. Brandon Moore all over him, they throw it away. 18.53 to go. Southeastern basketball down by two. 41-39 to Florida College. Brendan Moore ready to inbound to Andre Winston. Dre on the slow walk towards the midcourt line. Long pass to the right wing for Dana Thomas. Thomas up top for Dre. Winston finds Jordan Talley. Back over to Winston on the right side. Andre on the dribble. Inside cutoff. Spins, forces his way up, can't get the shot to go. Dana Thomas, his put back around the rim, no. Rebound yanked down by Florida College. Ahead to the right side for Darian Anthony. Fade away, 14-footer, too strong. Dana Thomas tried to draw it loose, but it's into the hands of Malcolm Bell. Dishes near side for Dennis Gravely. Back up top for Bell with 18-20 remaining in the second half. Ball out to the left wing. Jamison giving way to Darian Anthony. Alley-oop behind the back dunk by Jamison. The Falcons are putting on a show. It's a four-point game, 43-39 in favor of Florida College. They brought a handful of fans as well that are starting to hoop it up behind their bench. Jordan Talley kicks it out right side for Dana Thomas. Back up top to Jordan Talley. Out to the right wing for Brandon Moore. Moore gets the elbow. Back outside. Talley for three. Left it short. Brandon Moore got the rebound, but they call the ball off the line to the Falcons. Timeout Southeastern. R.J. Barsh wants 60 seconds to talk things over with his team. 17-44 remaining in the second half, and the Fire are a four-point trailer to Florida College. The Fire just cannot buy a basket to start the second half of play. At the intermission, they were 15 of 30, rather they were 14 of 36 from the field. They've missed their first three shots of the second half. 17-44 17-44 remaining. And Coach Barsh has changed his mind. 30-second timeout, which turns into the media timeout. 43-39. Florida College with the lead. Southeastern will have the basketball coming out of the timeout. Actually, it's Florida College basketball. Inbounding, Dennis Gravely. 
Gravely fires the basketball into Malcolm Bell. Bell calls everybody out of the backcourt, flips it ahead down the left side for Gravely. Gravely looking to the left corner for Bourne. For left side three, doesn't go off the hands of Gravely. And the offensive rebound pulled down by Jan Zoran. Running one-handed by Gravely doesn't go. Brandon Moore, the defensive rebound for the fire. Trying to pick up the intensity. Long pass, knocked away, but kept alive by B. This is a Thomas who finishes with both hands. 43-41, the fire down by two. 17-12 to go. All court pressure applied. Across the timeline goes Darian Anthony. Coast to coast, reverse layup doesn't go. But a foul coming up against Jordan McLeod. Rather, they get Brandon Moore, number 21. Seventeen oh six remaining. To the free throw line is Darian Anthony, number 11. Three points. This will be his first free throw attempt of the contest. Anthony toes the line. His right-handed shot is rims. No. One more coming his way. Anthony, a junior from Jacksonville, Florida. Right-handed shot on the way. No, too strong. Rebound, Andre Winston of Southeastern. Three minutes gone in the second half of play. The Fire with two points. They trail 43-41, and they turn it over. McMichael Jamison, easily to the rack. Can't get it to go. Loose basketball, Dana Thomas. Four on two break to Dre. Winston waits, draws the contact. Rejected by Dennis Gravely. Put back by Tally doesn't go. Another put back doesn't go. And Florida College comes up with the carom as Jan Zoran clears everybody out. Here's Dennis Gravely flipping inside to Zoran. That ball knocked away out of bounds. Fire basketball. 16-35 second half. Southeastern with a chance to tie or regain the lead. Andre Winston receives the inbound with 16 and a half to go from Brandon Moore. Winston looks right side to Dana Thomas. Back up top to Dre. Now to Jordan Talley on the left wing. Talley up top to Winston. Out to the right side now for Thomas. Dana trying to drive. Cut off. Flips near side to Dre Winston. Nice crossover to the free throw line. B for three. Around the rim, no. Thomas the offensive rebound for the fire. Dana flips to the center circle for Andre Winston. 16-05. Jumper inside. Thomas's layup too strong off the glass. Jan Zor on the rebound for Florida College. Driving from the right side is Anthony. Darian's layup doesn't go. Jordan Talley, the defensive rebound for the fire. He's fouled 84 feet from the basket. 15-53 remaining in the second. It's still a two-point Florida College advantage. And a substitution gives Malcolm Bell a break and brings in Marcy Rodriguez, number 12, a freshman from Tampa. Brandon Moore to inbound after the third foul against McMichael Jamison. Inbound pass comes in to Andre Winston. Winston across the timeline with 15 and three quarters left. Dana Thomas back to Dre. Winston looking free throw line to McLeod. Dana Thomas for three. Missed it. Rebound pulled down by Dennis Gravely of Florida College. 15 and a half to go from the right wing. It's Darian Anthony. Anthony flips back to the point. Now they try and get it inside. That nearly deflected into the basket on the pass by Dustin Dunham. The fire come away with the carom. Driving now is Andre Winston at the right elbow. Looks it inside. Dana Thomas leans in. Layup, no. Rebound deflected out of bounds and controlled by Florida College. Jan Zoran kicking it out to the near side. Finding Dunham. Dunham. Pass ill-advised is picked away by McLeod. Ahead to Andre Winston. Winston hesitates to the rack. Reverse layup. Good. 15 minutes remaining in regulation. 43-43. Full timeout, Jim Ronke and the Florida College Falcons. Oh, the Fire have tied the contest with 15 minutes to go in the half. Good transition offense that time off of the steal.
Second half action, Southeastern and Florida College tied at 43 apiece. Andre Winston with 19 points to lead all scores. McMichael Jamison, 15 points, 8 rebounds to pace the Florida College Falcons. The Fires slowly but surely starting to get their way back into this contest. They missed their first three shots of the half. Timeout was taken by Coach R.J. Barsh. Trying to settle his team down. And they have a 43-43 game with 15 minutes remaining in the second half. Florida College from left to right in the red. Macy Rodriguez from the left wing trying to work past Winston. Straight to the rack. Rejected by Jordan Talley. Loose basketball. More fighting for it. McLeod on the floor after it. McLeod calls timeout as Talley had it wrapped up. 30-second timeout Southeastern with 14-48 remaining in the second. And R.J. Barsh with his hands on each shoulder indicating a 30-second T.O. And this is big for the Fire if they can get points off of this, regain the lead, and get some momentum going their way. Crowd a little uneasy as they thought this game might go a little bit differently than it has. Florida College has come in and has run the floor right with Southeastern in this first 25 minutes and 12 seconds of play. Xavier Burrow now checks in for the Fire, replacing Dana Thomas. He, Jordan McLeod, Jordan Talley, Andre Winston, and Brandon Moore, the five on the deck for R.J. Barsh. Southeastern from right to left with Andre Winston bringing the ball up. Across the timeline, looking right side for Jordan Talley. Talley dribbles, now looks to the corner for Brandon Moore. Moore fighting to the wreck, now kicks to the near side. Burrow, left corner three, no. Rebound, Jordan Talley of Southeastern. Back up top after the offensive rebound. Winston to the rack. His layup doesn't go, but Dre has two free throws coming his way. Winston has been a big-time bright spot for the Fire. 19 points, four rebounds today. And he is 6 of 9 at the charity stripe. Winston with two coming his way. With 14.27 to go. First free throw, no. The Portland State transfer with one more. Played 28 minutes a game last year at NCAA Division I Portland State. Winston's second doesn't go either. Brandon Moore tried to lob out the rebound, but it's controlled by Anthony Allen of Florida College. Allen weaving between the white jerseys. Ball drawn loose by Moore, but it's kept alive by Dustin Dunham as the fire moving into their havoc defense. Fans starting to get behind him as well. Moore right into the face of the defender, the attacking player as well. Pull-up jumper by Gravely doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Anthony Allen. He keeps it alive on the left wing. Backing out is Macy Rodriguez with 14 to play and a fresh 35 to shoot. Gravely with Burrow all over him. Gives way to Dunham, who's hounded by Brandon Moore. Student section starting to chant the defense. And a reach called against B. Brandon Moore picks up his second foul. Out of bounds to Florida College. Inbounding is Marcy Rodriguez. Southeastern substitution brings back Dana Thomas, number three, the fifth-year senior, replacing Brandon Moore. Rodriguez to trigger. Looking in to Dustin Dunham. 13-45 remaining in the second half. 43-43 contest. Dennis Gravely kicking the ball to the top of the key to Dunham. Dustin now gives way to Jan Zoran. Out to the right wing to Rodriguez. Rodriguez puts the ball on the deck. Working against Dre Winston. Layup, no. McLeod the rebound. Foul against Anthony Allen. Basketball belongs to Southeastern in a 43-43 contest. Dana Thomas will inbound to Andre Winston. McLeod comes over to let Dana Thomas know what's going on at the other end of the floor. And now Winston brings the ball across. Andre works left off the screen. Now cuts to the right side of the lane. Layup is rejected by Gravely. Ball out of bounds. They say last touched by Winston and it belongs to Southeastern. 
Ball into the hallway. That'll bring up a little bit of a delay. 13-20 remaining in the half. Caleb Kinesny checks in for the fire. Thirteen twenty to go. Inbounding for Florida College is Dennis Gravely. Gravely hands off to Darian Anthony as the fire is set up in their all-court pressure, but back off at midcourt. Malcolm Bell with 13-10 to go. Floats the ball to the top of the key to McMichael Jamison. He's been the key man today as they try and go alley-oop to him. The ball is short. Rebound taken away by the fire. Here's Andre Winston in transition, and he is fouled. Fourth team foul against the Falcons, and that one goes against Dennis Gravely, number 55. Gravely picks up his second. Just under 13 minutes remaining in the half. Dana Thomas inbounds for the fire in a 43-43 tie. Ball at the top of the key to Andre Winston. Off the screen by McLeod. Kinesny for the lead. Nothing but net. Caleb Kinesny picks up his first three ball of the season. And Southeastern has a 46-43 advantage. Alley-oop. Big Michael Jamison back at the other end for two. 46-45 with 12.37 remaining in the half. Bringing the ball up for Southeastern is Andre Winston. The senior kicks it out to the right wing. Finds Dana Thomas. Back to Dre. Up top. McLeod, a head fake. Jordan jumps up in the lane. Thomas knifes to the rack. Missed the layup. Rebound taken away by Jan Zoran of Florida College. 12 and a quarter to play. Gravely cross courts it. Jamison forces up the shot. Got it to go. Tough shot by McMichael Jamison. And he gives his team the lead back. 47-46. Jamison with 19. And a layup by Andre Winston at the other end. Gives the fire the lead back by a point. 48-47. Dre with 21. Here's Jan Zoran inside. Banks home the jumper. 49-48. Back and forth they go. Florida College with the lead. Southeastern with the basketball. Winston to Konezny on the left side. Caleb off the screen. Running one. Hander doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Jan Zoran of Florida College. Out to the left side. Jamison. A missed dribble. Scooped up by Xavier Burrow. 11.28 to go. The fire trail by a point to Winston. Flips left side. Thomas to the rack. Lays it in. 11.22 to play. Southeastern a 50-49 leader over Florida College. Seesaw battle as now the Falcons have the basketball. Setting up the play is Malcolm Bell. One-on-one -on -one with Burrow. Xavier off the screen. Dana draws the ball loose and they call the foul. 11.05 remaining in the second half. And Dana Thomas, who averaged two steals a game last year, nearly had one there. But instead, Dana whistled for his third. Brandon Moore comes in for the fire. He replaces Jordan McLeod. Joe Little comes in, replacing Dana Thomas. 11 minutes, five seconds remaining in the second half, 50-49. to 49. Inbound pass comes in to McMichael Jamison. Hands off to Malcolm Bell. One-on-one -on -one against Brandon Moore. Knifes to the basket. Layup off the mark. Putback is good by Anthony Allen, who came in unboxed out from the left side. 51-50 Florida College as they sit back in their 2-3 zone. Ball at the top of the key to Andre Winston. Winston calling for a screen. Uses Burrow. Three ball. Left wing. Got it to go. Off the rim. Off the backboard and home. Southeastern 53, Florida College 51, assist to the glass. 10-25 remaining in the second half. The fire by two. Florida College with the basketball. Dennis Gravely bodied up by Xavier Burrow. Ball to the point now for McMichael Jamison. Spins, loose basketball, and a walk called against McMichael Jamison. Fire starting to take a little more pride in their defense, and the stop fires them up. They have a chance to extend the advantage, 53-51. And Caleb Kinesny to inbound to Andre Winston. Winston on the slow walk across the midcourt line. Three quarters of the way finished with this contest. A back and forth game. Moore for three. Nothing but net. Brandon Moore makes it a five-point fire lead, 56-51. 
We'll see if Southeastern can get another stop in the defensive end. Setting it up is Malcolm Bell out to the left side. McMichael for three. Got it. McMichael Jamison seems to have an answer every time the Fire think they have some breathing room. And Jamison now with 22 in the contest. He has put on a show for the fans here at the Furnace. Kinesny to Joe Little near corner. Nice head fake by Moore. Looking out to the right side for Dre Winston. Andre fouled on the play. Infraction goes against Marcy Rodriguez, a freshman from Tampa. And with 9.28 remaining in the second half, a timeout on the floor gives a well-deserved break to the Crews as Southeastern has taken a 56-54 advantage. Fire starting to heat up a little bit more from the floor, shooting 36%. Florida College has made one more field goal on seven less attempts. They are 44% from the field. The three-point shot, the Fire have taken 22 threes compared to Florida College's 10. The Falcons, 4 of 10 from beyond the arc. The Fire, 6 of 22 from bonus range. The free throw percentage, Southeastern, 50%, 8 of 16. Florida College, 6 of 11. So the Fire have shot five more free throws and have only made two more. Rebounding, dead even, 36 apiece. The Falcons, 12 on the offensive. 24 on the defensive. Southeastern, 17 offensive rebounds. 19 defensive rebounds. 10 assists for Florida College. 7 for Southeastern. 9 steals by the Fire. 7 by Florida College. And the Falcons have turned the ball over 16 times compared to Southeastern's 12. And the fouls again going big time the way of Southeastern. 17 Falcon fouls called compared to 10 by the Fire. 9.28 to play second half. Southeastern 56, Florida College 54. The Fire had the basketball inbounding in front of R.J. Barsh is Brandon Moore. Joined on the floor by Andre Winston, Xavier Burrow, Caleb Kinesny, and Joe Little. Winston looks right side for Burrow. X back to the top of the key. Kinesny for three. Got it again! Caleb Kinesny dials long distance for the second time, and the Fire go to the all-court press. 59-54 59-54 fire, 9-10 remaining. Bringing the ball up now is Malcolm Bell. Looks to the right side for Rodriguez. Marcy looking back to the point now for Dennis Gravely. Gravely inside for Anthony Allen who backs out to the free throw line. McMichael Jamison tied up at the left elbow. Forced up the shot and will go to the free throw line. Looks like he turned his right ankle a little bit. Brandon Moore called for the foul. That's his third. Quickly off the bench, Jordan McLeod. So again, being without Tim Mitchell for the first couple weeks of the season is going to hurt the Fire's depth at the post. Come December, it'll be a different story. You'll have Tim Mitchell. You also have Matthew Craig you can throw into that mix, who right now is serving as the starting tight end for Keith Bearfield's football team. to go. McMichael Jamison's free throw is hard off the heel of the rim. McLeod for Moore. Jamison trying to shake out that ankle that he just turned. Looks to be ready to go. He has a team high 22 points and 8 rebounds. Second free throw around the rim. No rebound. Andre Winston of Southeastern. 24 points, 5 rebounds for Winston. Welcome to Southeastern, Dre. And a whistle as Andre was trying to pack down the defender. Marcy Rodriguez called for the foul. In talking with Coach R.J. Barsh during the week, he, every time he mentioned Andre Winston, he had a smile the size of the Grand Canyon. I can see why. He's put on a show today. Ball comes into McLeod. It's stolen away. Back the other way. McMichael Jamison on a breakaway. Two-handed flush. Jamison with authority makes it a three-point game. And then they steal it back. Rodriguez behind the back dish. Ill-advised as the fire are able to pick it away. Andre Winston. Three-on-one break. Kinesny lays it in. 8.31 to go. Southeastern a 61-56 leader. Caleb with eight. Bringing the ball up for Florida College after the turnover cost him. Dunham from the left wing. Works back towards the center of the court as he's picked up by Xavier Burrow. 
Ball to the right wing now for Marcy Rodriguez. Rodriguez faces up with Konezny. Three ball, top of the key, straight on, no. And McMichael Jamison's three goes awry out of bounds to Southeastern. Dana Thomas back onto the floor for the fire, replacing Xavier Burrow. 8.06 remaining in the second half of play. Southeastern 61, Florida College 56. Andre Winston brings the basketball up, working the left side of the court, cuts to the basket, and is fouled on the way up. 7.56 remaining. One and one for Dre Winston. Infraction whistled against number four, Anthony Allen. Allen guilty of his third foul. Team seventh. Winston today at the line is 6 of 11. He has 24 points, 5 rebounds, and an assist. First shot is good. 62-56. Fire with a 6-point advantage. Jan Zoran replaces McMichael Jamison in the lineup. One more free throw coming up for Dre Winston. Andre eyes, flies, and converts. 63-56, Southeastern. 7.50 to play. Florida College with the basketball, down seven. Ball out to the left wing for Dennis Gravely. Trying to drive baseline is Anthony Allen. Layup doesn't go. Allen got his own rebound. Kicks it out near his side. Zoran, 18-footer, doesn't go. Joe Little, the defensive rebound for the fire. Down the center of the floor is Andre Winston. Winston picked up by Rodriguez. Turns on the afterburners. Tried to draw the foul. And doesn't get it. Ball out of bounds to the fire. Substitution for the Falcons. Darian Anthony, a junior from Jacksonville, replaces Marcy Rodriguez, the freshman from Tampa. Dana Thomas flips the ball to the top of the key for Jordan McLeod. Seven and a half to play. The fire lead by seven. Dana Thomas has the ball knocked away from him by Gravely. Dennis Gravely to the rack. Lost the ball off the right hand. It's out of bounds. Stays with Florida College. Good shorthanded defense that time by Winston and Konezny to hustle back. Inbounding for the Falcons will be Dustin Dunham. Brandon Moore back onto the floor for Southeastern. He replaces Joe Little. Seven nineteen to go. Ball comes into the near corner for Dennis Gravely. Gravely drives ba baseline, jump stop, layup, good. 7.15 to play, 63-58, Southeastern with the lead and the basketball. Andre Linth Winston 1v1 against Darian Anthony. Winston, nice crossover, gets to the right elbow, drives the lane, jump pass inside. McLeod, too strong, long rebound. Dana Thomas had it tipped away from him by Dennis Gravely. Gravely to the right wing for Dunham. Dunham has the ball jarred loose by Thomas. McLeod back the other way. Three on two. Nice job to get the ball to Winston. Ball pops up and out of bounds and belongs to the fire. Standing room only crowd for the home opener for Southeastern. The women's team, a big win in the first contest of the day over Florida College. 94-52. Alyssa Ramos leading the way for the fire with 29 points. The men in a back-and-forth battle with Florida College. Loose basketball won back by Brandon Moore of the fire. Moore looking for some space. Dribbles out of it with 6.40 to play. Andre Winston, his team a 63-58 leader. Thomas cutting to the basket. Dishes to McLeod who lost the handle on it. Ball goes out of bounds to Florida College. 16th turnover of the night for Southeastern. Boy, Coach R.J. Barsh, Johnny on the spot coming over with that towel. He knows the reason that McLeod lost the basketball on it. Some excess perspiration on the leather. 6.32 to play. Throws the pass down the center of the floor. McLeod breaks it up. Back the other way for the fire. McLeod to the rack. Again lost the handle on it. But he was fouled in two free throws coming the way of McLeod. The senior transfer from Glenville State. 6.28 remaining. Fire trying to get themselves cranked back up in the huddle. Third foul against Dustin Dunham. And now Jim Romke's squad going to start running into some serious individual foul trouble. 
McLeod's charity toss. Hard off the heel. McLeod, three points, five boards, and an assist today. He's one of three at the charity stripe. McLeod stretches out the shoulders. No dribbles. Eyes, flies, and converts. 6.28 remaining. Southeastern, 64. Four at college, 58. Down the near sideline, setting up the play is Dustin Dunham. Dunham, hard bounce pass to the right side to Jan Zor. On cross court to Dennis Gravely. Gravely driving against Moore. Running one-hander in the lane is good. Four-point game, 64-60 Southeastern. 6-10 remaining in the second half of play. Jordan McLeod sets the screen for Dre Winston. Steps back in the right corner in the double team. Ball knocked out of bounds. But first, a foul whistled against the Falcons' number 11, Darian Anthony. Or rather, they call it against Dunham. And that's his fourth. Three for Malcolm Bell, three for Allen, four now for Dunham, three for McMichael Jamison. So now Coach Jim Romke is going to have to play musical subs to try and keep as many guys as he can from falling out. 6.03 to go, first free throw by Winston is good. 65-60 Southeastern, Andre Winston with 27. Xavier Burrow back in for Southeastern. Gives Caleb Kinesny a break. Winston, got them both. 66-60, the fire back to a two-possession leader. Pass deflected by Thomas and intercepted by Burrow. Ahead to Brandon Moore. B to the rack, layup, and one! Brandon Moore makes it an eight-point game and a chance to make it a nine as he heads to the free throw line. 15 points, 6 rebounds for Brandon Moore. And he has a chance to add one more with an old-fashioned three-point play. And more importantly, he draws the fourth foul against McMichael Jamison, who has been the biggest catalyst of this Florida College offense. 24 points and 8 rebounds. And he's one more infraction away from his night being complete. 5.54 to play. Moore with one free throw coming his way. And he converts. 69-60 Southeastern. Florida College basketball from left to right. They trail by nine. Malcolm Bell across the timeline, matched up with X Burrow. Now the ball knocked away by McLeod, scooped up by Winston in transition. McLeod off the glass and in. 5.38 to go, and the Fires starting to extend their advantage. Jim Romke wants a timeout as the Florida College Falcons, who led by four early on in the first half, have fallen behind by 11 to Southeastern, 71 to 60. to play in regulation. Southeastern 71, Florida College 60. And the Falcons with the basketball as they work from left to right. Gravely trying to inbound, barely beats the five-second call as the fire put on the all-court pressure. Back to Gravely on the pass from Dunham. Looking down the near sideline, mishandled by Anthony Allen. A hard collision to the floor, and then McLeod on the breakaway was fouled by Malcolm Bell. 
Wheels starting to come off the apple cart for Jim Romke's Florida College Falcons. Started off pretty promising, but have struggled here late in the second half. 5.25 remaining. Bell with his fourth foul. Burrow out, Konezny in for the Southeastern University Fire with Jordan McLeod headed to the free throw line. McLeod getting ready to shoot his two free throws. Jordan today, six points, five rebounds. Make it seven points. 72-60 fire. One more coming up for McLeod. Glenville State transfer, knocks it down. 13-point advantage, 73-60 Southeastern, their biggest lead of the contest. From left to right go the Falcons. Setting up the offense is Dustin Dunham. Out on the left wing, it's Dennis Gravely. Gravely off the screen by Jan Zoran. Dribbles off his toe. Ball rolls to the, toe, to the hands of McMichael Jamison. 15 to shoot. Shot clock has not been a factor today. Zoran's jumper in the lane doesn't go. McMichael Jamison's putback is successful with five minutes to go. 73-62. Southeastern lead with the basketball. Konezny, nice head fake on the left wing. Gives way to Andre Winston. Winston, spin around and move in the lane. Floating one-handed, no. Rebound, tip back up, no, by McLeod. And this one comes into the hands of Malcolm Bell of Florida College. Spin move the left, on the right wing. Kicks it out right side looking for Dunham. Dunham with 4.35 remaining. Hands off from Bell. Jamison, back to Bell. Dunham looking out to the left side for Gravely. Floats it inside. Ball knocked away and stolen away by Dana Thomas. Just a great leaper. And is so long, he is tough to pass around. McLeod from the left wing. Into the lane to a wide open Jordan McLeod on the pass from Andre Winston. And a foul going up by Florida College. And I think they've hit their zenith. Michael Jamison has just been called for his fifth foul. He exits the game with 26 points and 9 rebounds. A very impressive showing by the sophomore out of Largo, Florida. Also, Xavier Burrow replaces Caleb Kinesny in the southeastern lineup. McLeod at the free throw line for the fire. Missed the front end. 4.13 to go, southeastern by 11. And now a conversation between the referee and Florida College coach Jim Romke. Again, not sure what they talked about. Nothing seems to change from our standpoint. McLeod's second free throw is off the front of the rim. Rebound by Dennis Gravely. Got it in to Dustin Dunham. Dunham works the left side of the floor with four minutes remaining in the contest. Gets the ball to Gravely. Gravely from the left elbow. Forces it inside and a foul on the floor called against the fire. Foul was whistled against Brandon Moore, number 21. His fourth. Team fifth. Ball goes out of bounds to the Falcons with 3.57 remaining in the second half of play. Southeastern led by a single point after 20 minutes as Jan Zoran races in from the top of the key to lay it in. 73-64. Early on in the second half, Florida College picked up a four point advantage. Nice pass inside to a wide open Xavier Burrow who lays it in. Burrow makes it an 11 point game, 75-64. The fire draw the ball loose at the other end. Here comes Winston who missed the dunk. Back up goes Dana Thomas who can't finish the layup. Rebound draw loose by Rodriguez and a foul at the other end against the fire. Dana Thomas called for a foul. Fourth against Dana.
Timeout Southeastern. 3.26 remaining in the second half, and the Fire have a 75-64 advantage over Florida College. After tonight's game, the Fire are back in action coming up on November the 4th when they travel to Nova Southeastern University for an exhibition against the Division II squad in Fort Lauderdale. Then it's on the road to College of Co Coastal Georgia on November the 15th. They return the trip to Temple Terrace on November the 17th. The next day, they're at the University of Tampa for an exhibition. And then two more exhibitions, November 21st and 22nd, as they take on Armstrong State and Valdosta State. They'll also face the South Coast Fire in an exhibition, a semi-pro squad, on December the 3rd. Then Sun Conference play starts on December the 6th at St. Thomas. Warner University comes to the furnace on December the 13th before traveling to Florida National and Hialeah on the 16th, then back home to take on Southwest Assemblies of God and Evangel University in the SEU Classic. That will be a great weekend of basketball as Sagu, Evangel, and also Olivet Nazarene University from Bourbon A, Illinois, a traditional power out of the Chicagoland Collegiate Athletic Conference will be in. The first of the year will kick off with the Fire traveling to West Palm Beach to the Northwood Tournament. They'll take on Concordia College of Canada and Florida National. 3.20 to play. Florida College with the basketball left to right, trailing by 11. Ball comes to the near sideline as they set it up for Rodriguez. Force it inside to Jan Zoran. His layup doesn't go. Offensive rebound put back by Dennis Gravely is successful. 75-66. Three minutes to play in the contest. Dre Winston from the left wing. Works back over to the right side. Burrow for three. Yes. 2.56 to play in the contest. 78-66 Southeastern. It's a 12-point lead. Burrow with five. Nice head fake by Malcolm Bell. He kicks left side. Jumper on the way by Dunham. Airballed. Brandon Moore, let, instead of letting the rebound go out of bounds, had his foot on the line and touched the basketball. It gives the ball back to the Falcons. Two minutes, 42 seconds remain in the contest. Southeastern a 12-point lead. Florida College with the basketball. Ball to the top of the key for Jan Zoran. To Dennis Gravely who floats it left side to Malcolm Bell. Bell back to Gravely with 2.35 to play. Back to Bell. Out to the right side. They skip it to Rodriguez. Rodriguez cuts to the baseline. Gives up the dribble. Now finds Dunham. Dustin Dunham's pass. Deflected. Stolen away by Dre Winston. Andre Winston sets it up on the right wing with 2.20 to play in the contest. His team a 12-point leader. Winston with 28 in the game. He's in no hurry. Dribbling out near the center court line. Now comes up to the arc. Fires a 25-footer. Why not? Winston with a long stare as he picks up his 31st point of the game to give Southeastern an 81-66 advantage. Jan Zoran loses the ball out of bounds. It's back to the fire with 154 to play in the contest. Caleb Kinesny back in. Nope, rather they're going to keep him on the bench. Falcons getting ready to make some changes. Kevin Wilson, number 23, replaces... Jan Zora, number 24. 154 to go. Brandon Moore inbounds to Dana Thomas. Thomas from the right wing. Backs out. And runs the offense. They are all over Andre Winston. Can't let him get more than 31 with 100 seconds left in the contest. Thomas hands off to Winston with 17 to shoot. Dre from the top of the key. Floats it inside. Dana Thomas stuffed by the rim. McLeod had the rebound. And a whistle goes against Southeastern. And Dana hobbles over to the Southeastern bench. No weight on that left leg. Dana goes right out of the tunnel a la Bo Jackson. Karsten Olsen checks into the contest for the fire. KO, a senior from Tacoma, Washington. Uh, 
at the free throw line is Malcolm Bell. Bell's first free throw with 89 seconds to go is good. 82-66. Congratulations goes out to the Southeastern University volleyball team coming away with a win at Florida Memorial this evening. Fire trying to make it a 3-0 day. Bell's free throw is no good. Rebound, Brandon Moore. Women's basketball, a big win over Florida College in game one of the day, 94-52. Men's basketball, an 82-66 leader. Here's Moore for three. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Florida College's Darian Anthony. From the right side, kick pass out to the left wing. Three ball, no good. Rebound, Brandon Moore. Kicks it out to the right side for Jordan McLeod. McLeod, nice in, layup, good. 84-66, the fire pulling away. They've outscored Florida College 42-29 in the second half. Three ball left side doesn't go. Final 50 seconds of the game. Brandon Moore kicks it over to Andre Winston, who is the game's leading scorer with 31 points. Five rebounds, three assists today as well for Winston, the Portland State transfer. 33 seconds to go. 18 on the shot clock. Winston from the right wing. Fouled, no call. Dre on the near sideline. Crossing back over to the free throw line with seven to shoot. Winston fouled by Darian Anthony. Results in two free throws for Winston. A chance to add to his 31 points. Shooting two. Andre Winston. Two free throws coming to the senior. Winston, right-handed shot. 32 points today in his Southeastern debut. Puts the fire up 85-66. Chance to make it a 20-point game when his team trailed by four to start the second half. Got it. 33 for Winston, and he gets a standing ovation from the student section here at Southeastern. 33 points, five rebounds, and three assists in his first game, wearing the red and white of Southeastern. Across the timeline goes Malcolm Bell. Coast to coast. Layup doesn't go. Final 15 seconds of play. Kirsten Olsen the rebound. He's across the timeline and will run it out. Xavier Burrow with eight seconds. X on the dribble at the top of the key. Hands off to B in the center circle. Three, two, and one. And the Southeastern University Fire come away with a 1-0 and record. Picking up an 86-66 win over... The Florida College Falcons. Again, stay tuned to seufire.com for all the latest in fire athletics. The men's basketball team next in action at home on December the 3rd when they host the South Coast Fire on Silent Night Night. Next home game for the women's team comes up on November 6th when they host William Carey University. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Donnie Smith. Have a great night.